So these are about uh, two dozen or, or maybe 30 letters uh, that Teresa Grattan wrote to her husband from inside the jail at the Vanier Center for Women. Uh, and uh, Herb Grattan, Teresa's husband, uh, he gave these to, to me. Um, and he, these letters, you know, they, they, uh, in it she describes um, the agony of her withdrawal symptoms, um, how you know, she feared that something bad might happen to her inside the jail, um, and how desperate she was to get out. Um, but it also, in them she also talks about you know, how she hoped that Herb was taking care of himself and uh, eating well and, and how their kids were doing and um, you know, what she wanted to eat when, when she got out and what she was dreaming about. Um, so it really, you know, it's, it's pretty rare um, when we're writing stories about someone who has died to get this kind of um, glimpse into their uh, thoughts and, and feelings. Um, so, you know, I was really thankful that, that Herb trusted me with these. Um, and, you know, it allows us to, to uh, include Teresa's voice in the stories. Um, and, you know, I think that uh, sometimes uh, the institutions that people in Teresa's situation come across, whether it's uh, jails or the courts or immigration authorities, um, I think sometimes they don't often do a great job of seeing the, the humanity in people um, and seeing them as, as individual people rather than, you know, um, faceless and nameless numbers that they have to process. Uh, and I think that when, when we're doing our job well, um, we try to tell a complete story about people um, and recognizing their, their individual value. Um, and I think something like these letters, uh, they, they really help us uh, to do that.